Hey, Shazam15 here. This week, I don't know how she does it. Well, I do, it's not that great. That's how she does it. Alright, this piece ultimately is... It's a substandard piece of plot infused with a ludicrous amount of agenda. I mean, my gosh, they weren't even being subtle about it. Alright. So, let's go with the basic premise of the film. Contrary to what you think from the trailer, she's actually not as competent as she looks. She tries to juggle stuff, but she doesn't really get good at it until most of the way through the film, when things start going her way. You have the disgruntled husband, you have the potential new love interest, which she actually denies, which is a new thing. She actually stays loyal to her husband, that's quite good. Uh, right, there is the duplicity of how people speak. That's quite an interesting little bit, because there's an interesting incident. Uh, let's be honest, Sarah Jessica Parker's performance, not so great. And I won't go into the fact that there's a lot of people who don't like Sarah Jessica Parker out there, I've noticed. Anyway, um... Right, what's the deal? Pierce Brosnan, not so bad. Don't quite believe him as a businessman from New York, but... He's never really been that good at accents, so... What do you know? Uh... What else is there to discuss? Well... I have to say, I enjoyed watching the actress who plays Lily, which most of you will recognize from Firefly as the character who can only be known as Yosef Bridge. I, she plays it sufficiently different from Yosef Bridge that you're actually squinting going, where do I know her from? But that, was, that might have just been me. Uh, what else is there to say? Uh, Yosef Bridge. Yeah, it's not the best. It could really be done better. Uh, the agenda, I suppose, I'd better go into the specifics. It's a post-feminist agenda. On the one hand, you have heavy criticizing with one of the mothers being most assuredly a villain of the piece, being a stay-at-home mother and she basically fakes her way through being a loving mother and stuff, because... If you actually watch her, she's not that great. She's more obsessed with her appearance than she is with actually doing stuff for her family. Uh, it's sort of saying... I suppose it's a post-feminist critique in the sense that it's saying you can have it all, but bear in mind you won't be so good at it. So, you know, that's quite interesting... You've got the question of family comes first, is the inevitable conclusion, that's quite a nice But Basically, it's very much a post-feminist critique, but being a post-feminist critique, it's a bit all over the place. Because on the one hand, it's, woo, excellent a job. On the other hand, it's, oh no, that just doesn't work. But, you know, it's... The other thing that got me about the film was it reminded me how insane some of the modern parents are. I mean, it's crazy. They do horrible, horrible things to their kids by trying to love them. For God's... For gosh sake. When my parents didn't want me to get hurt, they let me get hurt once and I would learn not to do it again! Instead of trying to prevent me from getting hyper, they let me have the sugar I wanted. And then it sort of stopped affecting me so much. I'm not that affected by sugar. I'm not that affected by caffeine. I'm not that affected by E numbers. In high concentrations of all three, yeah, that'll get me, but it takes some pretty high concentrations. And healthy eating and all that, come on. You did not all of you ate healthy, most of you turned out fine. If anything, it's the ones who are on the health kick that wind up with horrible debilitating diseases and generally just are in awful shape. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Post-feminist critique. It's not brilliant. It reeks of agenda. Yeah, that's about it. Some of the actress, 
some actresses play parts that they don't normally play so that's quite nice yeah basically everyone's playing off type so some hit some miss anyway uh, have fun see you next week